The snowy forests of Scandinavia was the venue for round two of the World Rally Championship, Rally Sweden. Sebastian Ugier was fresh from last month's season opener in Monte Carlo, where he took the first victory of the season. The only full snow event of the season took off in Karlstadt, with a spectacular opening ceremony in front of big crowds on Wednesday evening, with Swedish Prime Minister Fredrik Reinfeldt joining the festivities and offering a warm welcome to crews and rally fans. After a first super special on the opening day with Andreas Mikkelsen in the lead, day one of the rally started with a setback for Fiesta pilot Martin Prokop. He got stuck in a snowbank and can only manage to continue with the support of the Swedish fans. Luckily they didn't stop the helping us and we get back. But, ah, not a good start. At the top of the field we saw Monte Carlo and last year's Rally Sweden winner Sebastian Ugier taking the lead in front of teammate Mikkelsen. Yari Matti Latvila took third spot, making a Volkswagen 1-2-3. At the end of day one, still 18 rally cars were in the race and world champion Ugier at the front with a 5.8 second lead. Day two showed just how difficult the conditions were the drivers were facing. Thierry Neuville hit a rock with his Hyundai and dropped out for the second time this season. But even Ugier struggled with difficult conditions. He lost four and a half minutes and the lead after crashing in another deceptive snowbank, falling down to 20th place. But the day was still waiting with some trouble and chaos ahead. Just like his teammate Neuville, Juno Hanainen crashed into a rock, smashing his suspension, making it the second outage for Hyundai. Robert Kubica also became a victim of the Swedish snow and landed in a snowbank. With the support of spectators, he got back on track but caused a delay to Mads Odsberg, who was right behind him and currently in third position. Kubica, he pulled out just in front of me in the stage. He get back on the road uh, three seconds ahead of me, he should wait. The disbelief in Mads Odsberg's face when he found himself in the same position again at stage 13 after Kubica came off, only inches away from a massive disaster. Latvila held on to his lead while Mikkelsen was able to claw back some time on the final two sprint stages, shortening the gap between the top two down to 3.6 seconds. On the final day, there were still eight stages standing between the leader Yari Matti Latvila and his third Rally Sweden victory. Citroen driver Mads Osberg again only escaped a massive crash by a narrow margin. Only this time it was Chris Meek who blocked the track, luckily without any harm. Sebastian Ugier proved his class one more time by setting a new record at Collins Crest with an incredible 41-metre jump, fighting back to finish sixth place overall. At the end of the event, it was Finn Yari Matti Latvila who took his third Rally Sweden win in a commanding performance. Something very, very special. It's, it, that's where all, all my rally wins started from here back in 2008. 24-year-old Andreas Mikkelsen came in second and secured his first ever podium finish. Despite all the struggles and chaos, Norwegian Mast Odsberg took third place, stretching his impressive record on four consecutive podium finishes in Sweden.